The flag is the country's most cherished symbol. It is the nation's emblem for freedom. It symbolizes patriotism, love of country and sense of nationhood and embodies the aspirations and sentiments of the Filipino people in their unceasing quest for independence. It stands as instrument of unity that binds the Filipino people. Let's us learn more about the Philippine national flag. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tap the notification bell to easily notify you to my future ample videos. In an attempt to adapt the evolution of the American flag for Philippine purposes, it has been the fashion since the 1960s to trace the development of the flag to the various war standards of individual Katipunan leaders. However, historians have disputed the Philippine government's efforts as misleading. What is certain is that the Kaitapunan had a flag, and leaders, such as Andres Bonifacio and Emilio Aguinaldo had their war standards. It is also clear that some symbols common to Kaitapunan flags would be adopted into the iconography of the revolution. However, it is inconclusive whether these war standards can be considered precursors to the present Philippine flag. Prior to the outbreak of the Philippine Revolution of 1896, the Filipinos had no national flag of their own. The only known flag to them was the Spanish flag. But when the Filipinos rose in revolt against Spain, each revolutionary group had its own banner. Different flags were created and designed by various Katipunan generals signifying the unit or battalion where they belong. General Mariano Linares' troop, for instance, used the skull flag in Nueva Ecija. Bonifacio himself had a personal standard. However, these flags cannot be classified as a national flag. The idea of coming up with a new flag was reached during the preparation of the second phase of the Philippine Revolution. It was personally conceived by General Emilio Aguinaldo, president of the revolutionary government, during his exile in Hong Kong. Aguinaldo aspired to establish a new nation to be signified by a flag and an anthem during the second phase of the Philippine Revolution. With this, he himself made the design and the sketch of the flag that will become Philippines' national flag. Aguinaldo requested Marcela Agoncillo, wife of Felipe Agoncillo, the Philippines' first diplomat, to make the first Philippine flag. Marcela who was then living at 535 Morrison Hill Road in Hong Kong, was assisted by her eldest daughter, Lorenza, and by Delfina Urbosa Natividad, a niece of Dr. José Razel and wife of General Salvador Natividad. After five days of hard work, the flag was delivered to Aguinaldo who went back to the Philippines on May 17, 1898. The flag as described by the maker herself was made from fine silk with a white triangle at the left containing a sunburst with eight rays at the center, a five-pointed star at each angle of the triangle, an upper stripe of dark blue and a lower stripe of red. Note that the original design of the Philippine flag adopted a design with a mythical sun with a face. The flag's blue field also has a lighter hue compared to the dark blue field of the flag used from the Commonwealth era up to the year 1998 except the year 1985 to 1986. According to historians, based on anecdotal evidence and the few flags from the era that have survived, the color of the original flag was the same blue and red as found on the Cuban flag. On May 28, 1898, Days after the return of General Emilio Aguinaldo from exile in Hong Kong, Filipino troops were once again engaged in a battle against Spanish forces in Alapan, Cavite. Half a month later, on June 12, 1898, following the proclamation of independence from Spain, the same flag was waved by at Aguinaldo's residence in Coif, Cavite, as the March of National Filipina played.
throughout the Filipino Revolutionary War until the capture of Aguinaldo that precipitated the end of the Philippine-American War. The flag of the same design was flown with the red field on top to denote a state of war. The national flag itself serves as the war flag. During the time of war, the flag should be hoisted with the red stripe up, but in time of peace it should be hoisted with the blue stripe up. Thus, during the war with Spain and the United States of America, from 1898 to 1901, the Philippine national flag had been hoisted with the red stripe up. Upon Aguinaldo's capture, the Philippine Republic was abolished. The American insular government, under the jurisdiction of the U.S. War Department, was established. With the war over and Philippine leaders officially accepting American sovereignty over the islands, the Philippine flag was flown with the blue field on top. It was to be displayed that way henceforth during peacetime. For six years, the Philippine flag and other banners and emblems of the Catapanan continued to proliferate. In response, the Philippine Commission, dominated by Americans, passed Act No. 1697 or the Flag Law of 1907, which outlawed the display of the Philippine flag anywhere, even inside Filipino homes, and replaced the country's flag to the stars and stripes of the United States of America. The same law prohibited the playing of the national anthem. Filipinos responded with bitter protests as they saw the flag law as a violation of the fundamental principle of free expression. Several efforts were done by Filipino legislators to repeal the law, but to no avail. In 1919, Senator Rafael Palma sponsored the Senate Bill No. 1, a bill repealing the flag law of 1907 following Governor General Francis Harrison's recommendation that the law should be repealed since the distrust between the Filipinos and the Americans no longer exists. On October 24, 1919, Act No. 2871 was approved and signed by General Harrison. Thus, the flag law of 1907 was repealed. On March 26, 1920, the Philippine Legislature passed Act No. 2928 which provided for the adoption of the Philippine flag as the official flag for the Philippine Islands. From 1919 until the eve of World War II, Flag Day would be celebrated on 30 October, the day the ban on the Philippine flag had been lifted in 1919. After the Philippine flag was reinstated as the official standard of the nation, Modifications were made to Aguinaldo's flag, the sun no longer had anthropomorphic features, and its rays were stylized. It is also said that during this period, the blue stripe of the flag from Cuban blue became dark blue or navy blue similar to the one used for the American flag. It was reported that in 1920, there was a shortage of light blue material. There was, however, an abundance of the dark blue material used for American flags so that was used as a substitute and became the new official color by proxy. This design would be used from 1919 until the inauguration of the Commonwealth of the Philippines in 1935. With the inauguration of the Autonomous Commonwealth of the Philippines in 1936, the President of the Philippine Commonwealth, Manuel Quezon, issued Executive Order No. 23 on March 25, 1936. In the Executive Order, various specifications were enumerated, which have come down, more or less unchanged, to the present. Among the changes laid down by the Executive Order were the use of a plain sun, Solid golden sun burst without any markings with eight rays composed of one major beam and a minor beam on either side, and an equilateral triangle. Any side of the equilateral triangle is as long as the width of the flag. However, the colors of the flag were not defined in detail. However, the use of American blue and red became common. The official colors would only be codified in 1955 by the National Historical Institute of the Philippines.
The result was the standardization of the flag, whose specifications have remained unchanged and in effect from 1936 to the present. Bombing attacks on the Philippines and the American naval base at Pearl Harbor in December 1941 plunged the United States of America into war with Japan and the Axis powers. President Kazin issued Executive Order No. 386, mandating all Philippine flags to be flown with the red field on top to signify a state of war. With the Japanese invasion and occupation of the Philippines in December 1941, the Philippine flag was once more banned. It was allowed to be hoisted again with the establishment of the Japanese-sponsored Second Philippine Republic. During the ceremonies of the inauguration of the Second Philippine Republic held in October 14, 1943, the flag was raised by former President Emilio Aguinaldo and General Artemio Ricarte. Accounts of the ceremonies held in October 14, 1943 say that the flag raised by Aguinaldo and Ricarte was the 1898 design of the flag. Laurel issued Executive Order No. 17 on 1943, which essentially brought back the Aguinaldo design of the Philippine flag. However, the flag of the Second Philippine Republic would eventually be displayed with the red stripe up in 1944 when the Second Republic declared that it was under a state of war. From 1943 until the end of the war in the Pacific, two versions of the Philippine flag existed, the Commonwealth flag used by the government in exile based in Washington, D.C., as well as by guerrillas in the islands, and the Aguinaldo flag used by the Japanese-sponsored government. Following the surrender of Japan and the liberation of the Philippines, the latter's use would be discontinued with the dissolution of the Second Republic. In the aftermath of World War II, the Commonwealth of the Philippines was restored and with it the specifications of the Philippine flag in accordance with Executive Order No. 23, Series of 1936. On July 4, 1946, Philippine independence was recognized by the United States, giving birth to the Third Republic of the Philippines. In ceremonies held at what is now Luneta, United States High Commissioner to the Philippines Paul V. McNutt and Philippine President Manuel Roas lowered the American flag for the last time and in its stead rose the Philippine flag. Commonwealth-era specifications would remain in effect throughout the Third and Fourth Republics until 1985, when President Ferdinand Marcos issued Executive Order No. 1010. President Ferdinand Marcos issued Executive Order No. 1010, Series of 1985, changing the shade of blue of the Philippine flag from navy blue to light blue. The change was due to a long-standing debate among historians concerning the original shade of blue used in the national flag. The change in color proved unpopular. After the EDSA revolution of 1986, President Corazon C. Aquino restored the pre-martial law specifications of the national flag through Executive Order No. 292, Series of 1987 yet again in accordance with Commonwealth regulations. Commonwealth regulations were maintained until 1998. For the centennial of the Proclamation of Philippine Independence, in February 12, 1998, Republic Act No. 8491 or the Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines was enacted changing the color of the flag not to Cuban blue, but to royal blue, as a compromise after a furious debate among historians and members of the public. These are the specifications in use today.